Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Hero of Haven. In today's video, I thought I would put this video together to talk about boarding 101. If you're not familiar with what boarding is, boarding is essentially just a place where you want to keep your horse. Um, if you don't have your own land and things like that, there is facilities that specialize in taking care of the horse for you or even just keeping it. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about every specification and every aspect of it in detail and the levels of boarding because there is different levels so let's get right into okay. the video. so essentially boarding is a place where you pay someone and you keep the horse this is uh, what i'm doing with floor right now she's in a boarding facility where i pay someone to feed her and um, basically keep up with her um, as well as the full care boarding that's what i pay right now but there is levels of boarding, so let's break it down uh, more specifically of what boarding is um, in those care. The first level, which is um, self-care boarding, which is basically you just rent the stall and the owner of the horse essentially does everything. They feed the horse, they clean up the manure, as well as they provide uh, the water. Essentially, in this care, um, the stall should come with bedding and as well as um, like a bucket to put water or like places to store your hay as well um, or a tack room if depending on the place you go get some self-care provided some don't you can talk to uh, the owner or the manager that's in charge of the place sometimes also they do charge an extra charge to keep your trailer there or like add any alternatives or they even have hay sometimes like where you can buy it off. Um, so this is the first level of it's normally runs around a hundred 100 to 150 um here in the state of new mexico it can vary from state to state and city to city but right here it's um uh, it's fairly cheap um uh, if you're really starting owning your horse and need somewhere to keep it and you have your time in your hands to go every day um and feed the recommended what the horse requires the next level i want to talk about about boarding is the partial boarding this includes that maybe um you pace this probably would include um, them feeding either feeding them um, like once or twice a day or once in a while um, you still have to go and put and um, work to take care of your horse you probably have to be the one who cleans the actual stall um, as well as the one who gives water but there are also staff that also helps you sometimes it can look different ways it can either the staff feeds your horse and then you do everything else or the staff cleans cleans and waters a horse um, but it can vary from location how that works um, just it's depending how the facility works and what is required of that um, facility to do um, but this is semi like in the middle rank um, not fully cared but also not it's part more a little bit higher than the self-care I believe it runs about um, 150 to 200 I believe it's just only like 50 to 100 dollar difference from the self-care it shouldn't be too much higher um essentially because you're still putting in the effort to almost do everything yourself there's just a little bit of support there and then the last and final um boarding i want to talk about the level is full care which i am right now um full care is basically um you don't do anything um you pay the person to feed the horse twice a day um uh, clean the stall water them uh, check their health this um, if you're paying full care, they have also have to take care of your horse's health. Um, make sure that they're being well managed because essentially full care means that they're managing the horse for you. Um, and um, essentially you can obviously still go and help out um, if you like. It's your horse after all, but it's their job to manage your horse when you're not there. It's basically that they're basically own your horse, second owning. So that means that they have to take care of your horse really well making sure um, they have a contract veterinarian. Well, it depends from facility to facility, but essentially if it's full care, they offer the stables has contract with the veterinarian, with the farrier and with the feed type. Um, and they feed the horse um, twice a day and water them, everything basically full care. Um, so this is, runs around this can get pricey sometimes depending on the seat in the state i have seen um, places start from 400 all the way to six to eight hundred dollars for this care depending on the type of careness you're looking for um and some vary from 200 to 300 200 is a little low 
um, I wouldn't recommend going there probably like a little bit on the 300 to 50 300 that's the lowest you'll probably find um, essentially normally around 400 to 5 that's pretty much good what you'll pay for it and then some it varies on the facility like I said some full care um, facilities do discount you because you have to provide the feed some some facilities don't work work with you on the feed um, and the type of feed you want to feed your horse as well and they probably charge you a little bit more if you have a specific feed that they don't carry or you might have to buy it on your own so they'll give you a discounted rate that way you provide that for them again it depends on um, the facility you work with uh, but the facility where I work I do have full care she manages floor I go once in a while and I go and help her feed um, I do go daily and um, turn out the horse and things like that another thing I want to point out is that they also do have to turn out the horse um, depend on the contract that you're in um, and sometimes some places do charge extra for them to turn out your horses how many times a day and as well as like riding them because obviously you don't want your horse to just be sitting in the stall as well but it varies on facility to facility because every facility offers different um, services different stuff but essentially um, I do everything myself as turning out and riding her um, I go every day with her um, other than feeding and managing um, the facility does that for me um, as well as they have to work with you if you're full service essentially because um, let's say your horse is not doing great for example um, they want to work with you to see what's the next step you think is uh, in order to help this horse this is where um, you kind of have to know a little bit of knowledge about horses just in case if something does go on with your horses you kind of know what steps to take and what not to take as well as um, if you want your horse to gain weight you have to work with the manager um, stable manager to increase the feed as well as how that plan looks like and you, as well as any vitamins or supplements that you want to include in your feed essentially facilities don't charge extra to uh, give medication um, or medication or supplements on top of the feed as long as you provide that for them um, it won't charge you any cost obviously if they provide it they'll probably charge you a little fee because um, medication for horses and uh, things like that it's not cheap so the next question I do get if, when it comes to boarding is why would I use it why would I want boarding with my horse you would want boarding with your horse if you don't have a land of your own to keep the horse or to maintain it or essentially um, you don't have time for the horse um, you can look at boarding options full care specifically that way they take care of the horse for you and then um, you're just there to support the horse essentially a lot of facilities um, do work with your horse depending on the facility um, the contract that I am with uh, the facility I am I specifically ask them not to really engage with the horse because uh, I want the bonding to be with me because essentially if a horse is worked with one specific person always on the facility and like let's say they work your horse this specific person um, is working with your horse because you don't have time for the horse they're gonna bond with that person and when you want to do something with the horse it'll be very difficult because they're already bonded with that person so specifically it depends on the horse as well how well they bond with others and if they know that you are owning them um, but essentially you can work that out with the facility everything should be workable in the facility um, if you see facilities that is really hard to work with with your horses has special regulations i get it sometimes they have specific safety concerns but they also have to um, be willing to work with you because essentially it's your horse and another question i get asked is um, how do i know which facility works for me um, you can start by calling different places to give you a quote of your horse sometimes they ask you the type of breed of horse you're willing you have to bring uh, you want to bring to the facility as well as what feed schedule there is and just have that information down for them that way it's easier for them to give you a quote essentially it's um how much you can afford also i would do some of my research because you don't want to get overpriced or underpriced in specific um, boarding options because essentially depending on the price of the boarding facility is the quality of uh maintenance your horse will get um essentially obviously like if you pay really cheap obviously most likely the horse is not going to get taken well care of um, so keep that into consideration as well as you can give tours a lot of facilities love to give tours to people uh, i would suggest going and giving a tour give um, the place you see potential of your horse being happy there as well as see the other horses if they have other horses how the condition of the other horses if you see the other horses that are not really well 
uh, managed, then you're probably your horse is not really well there because that's how the pointers I take. If I see the other horses are not doing great in the facility, why would I take my horse there if that makes sense? Um, so essentially, you can also ask around, look at reviews and things like that um, and take your best judgment on the boarding facilities. Here I have a video of the facility where I board ho uh, floor. You can see in this facility where uh, it's she has a barn, she has a round pen and an arena. She also houses other horses there. The other horses look really well um, managed as well as the, she has a beautiful, amazing place in the mountains. Here you can see that um, her place is very well high maintenance. She always has staff around. She always has people um, cleaning the stall. Any concerns that I have, she helps me um, brought out because essentially um, there is sometimes concerns that go on with your horse like um, they get sick or they get injured because things happen horses are clumsy so essentially um, I really like this facility essentially just because it's a beautiful place um, all the other horses are thriving and essentially my horse has been thriving from day one so also um, take into consideration the land and the space that the horse is going to be in as well as the pen size you obviously don't want your horse to stay in a small little small pen because they're going to be stressed and get sick so that's also into consideration and um yeah if you really enjoyed this video make sure you guys like and subscribe i believe that's all i have for you guys today if you guys have any video suggestions in the future make sure you guys comment them down below if you have any questions any concerns make sure to leave a comment in this video and i'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions you guys have and thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one